Hello and welcome to yoga. This is a practice with standing bigger poses and for us who had time to carve out about 30 minutes to dedicate to our body and our yoga practice. So welcome and thank you for being here. Let's take a seat over onto our mat. Let's sit nice and tall on the sit bones and we'll start by dropping our um, left ear over to the left shoulder and stretch into the right side of the neck. A few breaths, dropping the right shoulder away from the ear. Kind of starting by checking that the top of the body is nice and free and clear and open to hold our arms and to be able to extend arms from the center and out without putting too much stress onto the neck. Let's take the head up and over to the second side and making sure that the pathways for the breath is open. We're sitting nice and tall on the sit bones and dropping the right ear towards the right shoulder. One more breath here and then gently taking it all the way back up, taking our hands up to the sky and interlacing, turning the palms to the ceiling, to the sky, and stretching from the hips, to the shoulders, to the elbows, to the wrists. Inhaling and exhaling right here, and slowly bringing it back down, leaving your left hand down, taking the right arm up to the sky, sit bones down, maybe the ear, and the bicep come and have a little meeting, side body, crescent stretch and taking it up and over. These are the arms later on for the standing poses in our side angle. Either the arm goes maybe straight up, maybe there's a slight bend over to the side, slightly bending to your right elbow and extending the left sit bones down, long side body, and gently taking it all the way back to the center and come to all fours, please. Spreading the fingers nice and wide, second finger forward, tucking the toes under, arching the spine up to the sky, top of the head towards the mat, big wide open back, and inhale, elongate, not necessarily dropping the spine, but more elongating and lifting the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, knees are down, hands are down, and the belly is lifting up, up and away. We'll do one more. Inhale, elongate, exhale, expand the back body creating space for organs, creating a space for the spine, creating space for the muscles, and then slowly come back to center, tuck the toes, come to downward facing dog, pedal your right heel, your left heel down. Maybe just take it for a little bit of a walk about. Press the palms, lift the upper arm bones, Walk the feet to the hands, inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold, slightly bend into the knees and inhale, long spine. Hips and ankles are stacked. Exhale, hinge and fold. And one more time, inhale, long spine. And exhale, hinge and fold. And then we'll step back to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana, press the palms, lift the upper arm bones. Step one foot between the hands. I'm stepping the one so I can have yoga with you guys. So tucking the toes slightly in, Prasarita Padottanasana, feet wide apart. We'll take the hands right underneath the shoulders to start and give ourselves another three cat cows right here, expanding, elongating the spine, hugging the inner edges of the feet towards the midline at the very same time. And then slowly, Arching the spine, take the heel of the hands between the heel of the feet and hinge and fold forward. There might be a block. We can always put a block underneath the head so that we have something to press into for the head. Hands between the feet. Pull the inner edges of the feet towards the midline. We'll stay one more breath here. And then gently extending all the way back up and we can take the block outside of the right foot and we're gonna take the right heel in, bending the right knee, take the hands out to the side, come to two hands supported side angle. 
few breaths here until we feel like the adductors are holding us, the feet are fully grounded onto the mat. Take your right hand onto the block outside of your right shin ankle and take the left arm out to the side, pull the upper arm bone in and take your left arm up and over. Side body long, extended side angle, Parasura Konasana. One more breath here and then exhale, bring it all the way back down and come to the center. From here, pull your left heel in, bend your left knee and take your arms out to the side. Two hands supported side angle. We'll stay another breath right here and then take the block outside of your left shin or ankle and put your hand on it. Take your right arm out and take it over your ear. Side body long, extended side angle, big wide large pose that touches really the whole body, full opening. And then exhale, take it all the way back down, take the block to the back and come to feet wide apart. Take your heels towards the midline, bend the knees, hands on to the knees and thumbs are facing in. You can kind of hang out a little bit here, open up even more into the adductors, into the lower belly. We'll take the right shoulder into the center and up and over, second side, left shoulder into the center. We'll do it one more time each side to really get that stretch into the lower back and then up and over one more time and exhale. Stretch the legs, take your arms out to the side, hands behind, tuck your toes forward, slightly in, roll the shoulders up and back, take the ears back and hinge and fold forward, top of the head towards the mat, bring your arms up to the sky. Long side body, hips to shoulders and bring the shoulders away from the ears. Gently take the hands down to the sacrum and bring them all the way back down. Flat hands on the floor. This time around, turn your toes out and bring the width between your feet, maybe a little bit wider, bending into the front knee. Take the hands forward one more time. Two hands supported side angle. Squeeze the glutes. Take your right forearm to your right thigh. Sweep your left arm up to the sky. And then from here, we're gonna turn that left arm back and pull ourselves up into warrior two. From that knee, extend all the way out to your back leg. Arms out to the side. We'll stay one more breath here. Inhale and exhale. Take your palms, face them up. Take your palms together, interlace. Take yourself to the back, long side body and gently come to the center, arms to the side, stay with me in the legs, keep them nice and strong, interlace your hands behind you, roll the shoulders up and back, hinge and fold for humble warrior, top of the head towards the mat, arms up to the sky, nice long side body, long spine, shoulders away from the ears, we'll stay one more breath here, and exhale, release hands to the sacrum, and hands down to the mat. We'll take them back out, long side body, and then support yourself as you straighten your right leg and come to the center. And then we'll come to the second side. Turn your left toes out. It becomes a little wider for the feet and the legs. Bend your front knee over the ankle, left forearm, left thigh. Sweep the right arm up to the sky. Nice big wide side angle. From here, push into the feet to the legs and come up to warrior two. Arms out to the side. Fully using all parts of the body. Take the palms up to the sky, interlace, and take ourselves up and back and up and back. Side body long, and then gently come to the center. Arms to the side, stay with me. The legs are getting stronger. Take your hands behind you. Take your different class back here and interlace the hands. Roll the shoulders up and back and come to humble warrior. Top of the head towards the mat. Rolling the shoulders away from the ears. One more breath here. 
and exhale, release hands to sacrum, hands to the mat, take the arms out, two hands supported side angle, and then gently take them back in. Long side body and make yourself comfortable onto your mat. We'll come back to our cat cow and just kind of close it up for those side angles. Inhale and exhale, few breaths right here. And then one more to make it three and then come to your center. Take yourself to your downward facing dog, turn your feet and step back, down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Press the palms, lift the upper arm bones and lift the palms, even though Yes, we do say press the palms down, but it is also a nice big lift from the palms. And that's where all that good muscle energy fires up into the palms and helps us with our biceps, triceps, and shoulders. Plank pose, please. Shoulders and wrists are stacked. We'll hold our plank for a moment, building that front support and taking the knees to the mat, coming all the way down, widening the hands. Come to your fingertips, roll the shoulders up and back, and take yourself into Cobra Pose. Inner shoulder to outer shoulder. Roll the ears back, stretch your legs back, pull the belly in, and exhale, bring it back down. Hands by shoulders, step back to Child's Pose. Big toes together, knees apart. Gently come back up to tabletop, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Step one foot between the hands and we'll face each other again. And come to Skandasana. Turn your right toe slightly out, your right elbow into your right knee and flip your left heel down. And stretch into those left adductors. And come up and over, second side, left elbow, left knee. We'll stay right here. One more breath and we'll come up and over to the first side. And from here, we'll flip ourselves over to the right side and come to low lunge, back knee down, left hand out to the side, right arm up to the sky, lifting it all the way up and back. Maybe we'll stay here. Maybe right hand and left foot comes together for a quad stretch, lifting the heart, stretching into the left quad, pressing the foot and the hand into each other, and exhale, release, arm and leg down, hands to the mat, right elbow, right knee, and switch to second side, left elbow, left knee, and then we'll turn ourselves to the left side, right knee down, right hand out to the side, left arm up, low lunge, twisting, bring the shoulder blades down on the back, left hand, and right foot. Maybe they'll have a meeting or maybe they'll stay down. Pressing the hand and the foot into each other. Roll the shoulder blades down and back. Give yourself another breath right here. And exhale, take it back down, hands to the mat. One more skandasana to the left side and then we'll come to the center. And come back with our hands between the feet. Arch the spine, take the top of the head towards the mat. Just like in the beginning, we'll see how we feel. Maybe the legs feels a little bit more open and wide. Prasartha Padottanasana. Feet wide apart. Head towards the block or the floor. One more breath right here. And then gently extend the arms and come to downward facing dog to the front of your mat. Exhale, bring it all the way back. Come forward to plank pose. We'll hold our plank pose. Exhale, take the knees down and come all the way down. Inhale to cobra, inner shoulder to outer shoulder. Exhale, take it all the way back down and push back for one child's pose. And then we'll come into crescent lunge and warrior one. And then we'll move into trikonasana as well. From here, come to tabletop and come to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Feet hip width apart. Take your right leg up to the horizon. Step your foot between the hands. Come up high on your back toes. Squeeze your glutes, your lower abs. Come up to standing. Bring your arms up to the sky. High crescent lunge. Maybe the palms come together. Maybe they're in front. Maybe if 
feels okay to lift the arms up with palms together and finding that midline. One breath here and then exhale, bring it back down, hands to the mat, step it back, down dog. Sweep your left leg up to the horizon, spread your toes, step your foot between hands, engage glutes, lower abs, hands to hips, hands to sky, maybe hands comes together and maybe they can move up to the sky, sinking nice and low. Inhale and exhale. And bringing it all the way back down, hands to the mat, step it back, downward facing dog. Take your right leg up to the horizon, externally rotate, bend your knee, sink your left heel down, get a quad stretch up here as well. Pull the lower belly in and step your right foot between the hands, left foot flat onto the mat. Front heel comes right into the center of the left arch on your foot. Hinge back up, warrior one, palms together. Find the midline, squeeze everything we have into the center. Skin to muscle, muscle to bone, squeezing it all the way in. Exhale, release, bring it back down and step back, down dog. Take your left leg up to the sky, externally rotate. Hold on to the lower abdominals, sink your right heel down and step your foot between the hands for warrior one. Bending the front knee, extending fully into the back leg and taking the arms up to the sky, palms together, inhale and exhale and slowly bringing it back down, hands to the mat, step back, down dog, come to plank pose. Claw your fingertips, knees to the mat, all the way down. Inhale to cobra, widen the hands, long spine, pull the ears back and exhale. Bring it all the way back down, push back child's pose. One breath and make your way back up to tabletop, to downward facing dog. And then we'll step one foot between the hands again and face each other and come to Trikonasana variations, and then we'll close it back down. And I don't know about you, but I'm really feeling some good energy and some nice openness through the body by just like a little time each day to open up the pathways and lifting off any stagnation. So let's continue that with our Trikonasana variations. Take your right heel in, it closed up the legs a little bit. Take your hands over to the um, inside of the right foot, squeeze the glutes. Kind of hollow the belly in right here. And then squeeze the glutes and take your right hand behind your right shin ankle and take the left arm up to the sky. Press down into the mounds of the big toes. Triangle pose. Take the top hand to the hip. Take the gaze down in front of the second toe. Step it up into Ardha Chandrasana, balancing half moon. You can slightly bend into the standing leg, take the left arm up to the sky, and maybe, maybe we feel like taking the right arm up to the heart. Maybe we are plugged in, it feels like a good idea right here. One more breath, and then exhale, hand down, and step it back, Trikonasana, triangle pose and take the hands down to the inside of the right foot. Turn your toes, come to the center, long arms, long side body, raise the sacrum, micro bend into the knees. Take your hands over to the left side and pull your left heel slightly in. Two hand supported, Trikonasana, arms on the inside of the left foot. Inhale and exhale, we'll stay right here. Triangle pose, left hand outside of your left shin ankle. Take the right arm up to the sky. Take the gaze up to the sky. Press the mounts of the big toes down. Squeezing into the glutes, squeezing into the lower abs. Take the top hand to the hip. Take the gaze down in front of the second toe. Bend your front knee. Step it up into Ardha Chandrasana. Squeeze the glutes, bend into the standing knee, take the top arm up to the sky, come up high onto your fingertips, and maybe we'll even lift that left arm up to the heart. And we'll stay right here. 
soaring, finding our balance, our energy, and then exhale, release the left hand, step back to Trikonasana, triangle pose, and take the hands to the inside, and then we'll turn them to the front, feet to front, hands to the front, and exhale, hands to the um, between the feet one more time, and we'll have an opportunity if we so wanted or have a, a, a um, headstand. Maybe we'll take a tripod, maybe we'll take a headstand, maybe we'll take another forward fold with um, forearms down to the mat. There's a lot of opening into the legs today. Interlace the hands, take the top of the head towards the mat, come up high onto your toes, lift your legs. Maybe take the legs up for your headstand, spread the toes. Forearms down, head down, and we're rising up at the same time. There's like a little zipper from pubic bone to belly button to sternum. One more breath. And slowly coming back down, taking our wide feet apart, pulse again, and hands to the mat. Come forward to your downward facing dog. Take your feet halfway into the mat and your hands halfway in and come to feet wide apart, um, as maybe even as wide as the mat, that will feel good. Take the hands on each elbow and hinge and fold forward, top of the head towards the mat, long spine. We might even take the hands behind the head and enjoy a nice neck stretch right here. And exhale, release the hands, come to a seat, come to Pashimuttanasana, straightening your legs forward, sitting nice and tall on the sit bones, taking the inner thighs wide back and apart, taking the arms up to the sky, bring the ribs in and hinge and fold forward, hands on the outside of the feet, inhale, long spine, and exhale, hinge and fold. If you have a block nearby that you used earlier, maybe you'll put it in front of your feet, flexing the feet and getting a nice stretch into the calf. And also, especially in towards the lower middle back area, slightly bend into the elbows and pull the shoulders down on the back, top of the head towards the feet, towards the block, full calf stretch, full back stretch, closing up our practice. One more breath. And gently taking ourselves back up. And I'm going to take the block and sit on the block to raise the seat and to come to a comfortable cross legged position where the knees are below the hips and that way the hip flexors get to relax. If we're sitting with the knees up, then it's a little tight or a lot tight for the hip flexors, kind of they're holding on to the legs, right? So if we raise the seat up and the knees comes below the hips, then the seat is more supported, the hips are more supported. Hands can be pulled in onto our mid thigh and the ears can come back and We'll take a few moments to sit together in this nice new awareness that we created for ourselves. And we'll keep it until we meet again on the mat. Give ourselves a few breaths right here. Just sitting with all of the poses that we moved around in our body. Take another breath. And from here, you are welcome certainly to stay here as long as you'd like in your nice sweet spot of just soaring in the new awareness that we made. Or maybe we lay down for Shavasana 
with legs outright and the head towards the front of the mat. Thank you for joining and I look forward to seeing you next time. There are videos coming down here on what's coming next. If you subscribe to the channel, then you can get a little notification on when the next video is up. So um, I thank you very much. I hope you feel great. I can certainly feel all of the parts that we moved and I hope you do too. Thanks for taking time and spending it with me. Namaste. Let's take Shavasana together. Pressing the head, adjusting the shoulder blades, and just staying here for as long as you'd like to rejuvenate your body. Namaste. Mm-hmm.